Hello guys, welcome back. In this Laravel video tutorial, we are gonna learn how we can use the module and where we have to place the module and what is the shortcut command to use the module so that uh, shortcut command so you, we can create a quickly module. So first of all, I want to tell you that why we use the module. Module is used to separate the database queries or we can use it for the separate the uh, logical queries also so where we have to put it we can put it in the anywhere in the application app but it prefer to use it with the your app folder only so after that so just code here and now just create a module here just use a file with the test.php name alright and just start write your module just use the namespace app why we use the namespace app because we are in the application folder all right now uh, just use the eliminate uh, just just import the library for the use module and the database and place in the eloquent Here is the final module. Alright, now just define a class like the test. The your file name should be the same name of your class. Extends and file name is uh, extend to the module model and okay. Alright, so just take a protected variable. Oh sorry, just take a protected type variable mm, table dollar table. There is a lots of variable that we can use uh, within the modules for like uh, to create data, to modify data, to database connection. But uh, this is a very simple tutorial, and we we are going to learn just for the uh, basics. So just we take a one variable which is the table and here I will put my table name which is the test and my database name is already set up with the uh, database files and if you don't know how to set up the database so you can use uh, you can watch over the previous video so now I'm going to just Tom and opening the PHP my admin okay I just uh, use the zoomed in folder because so you can s watch the old content very clearly so here you can see that I have a test file with the some data okay so I just use the test file here so now just go to your controller and just use app and my folder file na um, name is test all right now just take a variable with the data and use the test with the scope resolution the all is the method of this class of the module all right now just print our uh, data to watch are we able to go to our data or not so just refresh this okay so there is an issue so what is exactly saying that uh, constant app straight undefined constants so okay uh, we just misspell the eloquent here it's actually it should be eloquent just now refresh it again. Oops. So let's check the path here. The official site. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Just go to your event here. Just just copy it, I think should be fine right yep 
let's check once again okay okay so we actually uh, forgot to use keyword here that's that's my bad sorry for that okay so you can see that now we got the lots of data here so just uh, put it in the similar way so you can if you want to see the whole data in a particular manner you can just use the pre tag and let's see here so here you can see that the objects how this uh, how we get the whole data and if you get if you want to get just, just some uh, particular fields like uh, just you want to get the name then you can use a for for each loop and just data as uh, dollar p all right and echo here just use the br tag to give a line space and dollar t and the our column name is name all right so and just refresh this space and you can see that we just got the name here and if you want to put here only email then you can use the email only let's if you want to both see the both then you can use the name and all all right so here is the basic example how we can use the uh, module model in laravel and in the next video we will see how we can learn it deeply so we can use the custom database name and all everything so you can see that there's lots of thing to learn it's a very big topic you know so in the next upcoming video we will do all these things so thanks guys thanks for watching this video and if you still have any kind of issue then you can put me in the comment box you can put me in the comment box in suggestions also Give a thumbs up to the video and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Thanks guys, thanks for watching this video.